There were some folks on social media that saw your running back rankings for the SEC, running back room rankings, and saw you rank the Gamecocks fifth, and they had an issue with that. People feel like Kevin Harris isn't quite getting the love and respect he deserves. Talk about the running back room as a whole, because, again, as you mentioned, it is a strength. There's no denying that. You have Kevin Harris back, who's the leading returning rusher in the conference, Marshawn Lloyd, who was a five-star prospect, and I think if he's 100% healthy, Phil, I think he's actually probably a better running back than Kevin Harris. Zaquandre White, what he did in the spring game, Rashad Amos, I think is a guy nobody's talking about that's a really, really good player. Caleb McDowell even is a true freshman. So that room is loaded with guys. But talk about that room and why you ranked him fifth in the SEC. I'm really curious to hear your breakdown of, uh, of the running backs as a whole in the conference, if you will. Yeah, probably because they play in the SEC. As I mentioned, I've gotten the 15th <laughs> best running back core in the entire country. But there are good running backs in the SEC. And believe it or not, there are other five-star running backs in the SEC. Mm. Can you believe that? <laughs> Hard to believe, right? <laughs> yeah, when you take a look, uh, the number one rated uh, running back room I've got is Texas A&M. They've got mm. Isaiah Spiller coming back. <laughs> and while Kevin Harris had more yards than Isaiah Spiller did last year, I think Spiller's got a little more upside. They've got Devon Ar uh, Chain behind them. They've got Aeneas Smith. And then you look at the true freshman, you only want to talk about five stars. They've got J.J. Johnson coming in, who's my number six rated running back out of high school. Uh, they actually have uh, four VHT running backs, but I love the Spiller a chain combination. Uh, both are accomplished and uh, they're both breakaway threats. Uh, then my number two set of running backs uh, in the conference is Georgia. And when you look at Georgia, they don't have, uh, well, South Carolina's basically got two what I call VHT running backs and Kevin Harris. Harris was not a VHT coming out of high school. Georgia, on the other hand, has six VHT running backs. Samir Wright was the number one running back coming out of high school. James Cook was number five. Kendall Milton, number three. Kenny McIntosh, number seven. Dewan Edwards, uh, it was PS 34. So they are loaded at the running back spot. White had 770 yards last year. And, and with the offensive line they have, George is going to get the uh, running back production. Uh, up there in the running backs at number three is, believe it or not, Alabama. And I think Alabama is going to produce some good running backs. Brian Robinson, maybe one of the best running backs in the country, just hasn't had his chance. He's been playing behind NFL guys at running back. It's his turn to take that. Jace McClellan, Trey Sanders, their PS number six, PS one number one. Roydell Williams, once again, loaded with VHDs. They have uh, five VHD running backs at Alabama. And then uh, the number four was Auburn. And if you've watched... Uh, Auburn's running back run at all. Uh, you have to be excited about Tank Bigsby, but they also have Sean Shivers behind him. And then they add in a couple of VHT True Frosh and Jaquez Hunter and Jordan Ingram. So there are good running backs in the SEC. South Carolina has a very good running back core. I have it number 15 in the country.